Hello everyone, uh, today we will be solving a problem of mine with my Yamaha Tenere 700 and that is wind buffering. So how the air flows around me, mainly around my helmet. I'm a very tall rider, I'm 2 meters tall and uh, everything that's above 80 kilometers an hour, that is what about 40-50 miles an hour, uh, is absolutely unbearable because the wind is so strong it buffers, it's off. Oh. It's more comfortable standing up on the pegs, riding on the highway than sitting. This visor that you see is stock, it comes original on the Yamaha Tenere. It's sturdy, it's great, looks good, uh, but it doesn't do the function for me. It doesn't give me enough protection, or, 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 enough of a bubble around me to be protected from the wind. Um, anything aftermarket that's taller uh, or different or wider looks very funny to me. It ruins, absolutely ruins the, the look of the bike. So what we'll be trying on today is the original add-on Yamaha part. Uh, the it's called the add-on screen so this is what you get in the box uh two mounts and the screen nothing else in the instruction manual um what's good about this uh add-on screen is that it's very adjustable it'll mount right about here but what's good is you can move it up and down you can tilt it uh you can even sway it i think um let's mount it and see if it does the job we'll test it later so what you're looking at is the final product uh this is what it looks like all you need to mount it is a 5mm hex from this side and a 3mm hex from this side. Um, these screws here, you should tighten them down a bit more than you think is right, because uh, otherwise this whole part will be a bit too flimsy. Uh, so, as you can see, it protrudes a lot. I thought it would be more slim, so I'm not too convinced about the looks. But as long as it functions, I'm happy with it. Um, since it's very movable, as I said before, so this is the lower position, the upper position, you can even tilt it all the way. I mean, look how tiltable it is. Uh, I'm sure I'm gonna find a position in which it's gonna protect me from the wind. Uh, now, uh, the thing that is left to do is to go test it, uh, and I'll be back with hopefully good news. From the test what can i say um the product works does the job solves my problem no buffering creates a bubble uh you saw we got up to 145 kilometers an hour the speedometer is off by about 15 kilometers an hour at those speeds so let's say 130 kilometers per hour is more than enough of a cruising speed for an enduro motorcycle like this um i didn't feel anything uh, but there is a there is a bit of a problem since the screen is so narrow uh, when you lead in to the corner, as I did uh, on the slip road up to the highway, you do feel the air kind of hitting the side of your helmet, which does create a bit of an imbalance. It kind of pushes your helmet um, to one side and it's a bit uncomfortable, but I think it's something to only to get used to. Um, so what's the verdict? Do I recommend the product? Yes, I do. I think it's great. Could you get something more functional? Yes, you could. You could get those wider screens, even taller screens. 
Um, but as I said, uh, this is the best compromise for looks versus function. So um, it does does both, covers both. Uh, looks good and does its function well. Um, so if you have any questions, uh, I'd be glad to answer them. So make sure to leave a comment down below. Uh, thank you for watching and till next time. Cheers.